Hi, I'm Catherine, and I'm a senior systems engineer here at EGI. And today we're going to talk about how to calculate the intervisibility between two objects in SDK. Now, intervisibility is called a lot of different things by a lot of different people. Some people might call this overflight analysis. Some people might call this line of sight analysis. But really, at the heart of this, we're looking at when can two objects or many objects see each other. In SDK, we call this access. So here I have a satellite and a ground station, and I want to calculate when the ground station can have visibility to the satellite, or in SDK, as I said, we call this access. So I'm going to right click on my object, my ground facility here in my object browser and go to the access tool. And this will allow me to calculate the intervisibility between any of the different objects in my scenario. For this scenario, I only have one satellite, so we will choose the satellite and then calculate, hit the reports button to calculate our access. This will automatically bring up our access report window. On the 2D map, you can see that that has now been color coded by all of the different time periods where our two objects will have intervisibility and highlight the ground tracks for that for that period of intervisibility. We can see in our 3D window, we don't have anything uh, being shown yet, but as I animate forward in time, as we get closer to periods of intervisibility, we'll see a line between those two different objects. Our report will show us all of the different time periods for that intervisibility. So I have the number of uh, intervi intervisibility periods, I have my start time, stop time, and overall duration. Now what I can do is right click on any of the start times in my report and then go to start time, set animation time, and automatically that time will become the time here in my uh, animation toolbar. And you can see the intervisibility line being shown between my satellite here down to the ground station on the horizon. We can also see that period of intervisibility highlighted on our timeline tool. So in SDK, the way you calculate intervisibility between two objects is by using the access tool.